Such a warm June, followed by a very cool and wet July. If you were hoping that the weather patterns would be shifting, now we're moving into August. Well, you're going to be disappointed. The rest of this week promises more of the same. Generally dominated by low pressure, so further spells of showery rain and brisk winds. One area of low moves away. This one moving in through the middle of the week will bring some lively winds, especially along the south coast, and then introduce northerly winds, bringing a cooler feel through Thursday and Friday. A little bump in the isobars, a hint of something a bit drier, a brief ridge of high pressure, perhaps for Friday, but then there's another low waiting in the wings for the weekend. So why are we keeping this unsettled weather? Of course, we have to look high in the sky and see where the jet stream is. And it's a fairly active jet stream for the time of year, and it's south shifted, and it is just pumping these areas of low pressure across the country. And that little dip in it there really intensifying that low, hence why it's going to be blustery as well as wet for many during Wednesday. By the time we get to Friday and the weekend, not one but two areas of low pressure to keep an eye on, just how they interact with that jet stream. More on that in a moment. First of all, let's rewind the clock once more and go through the uh, week day by day. One area of low pressure is exiting and actually Tuesday will probably be the, the driest day of the week for large parts of the country. Not completely dry, as you can see, we've still got an old weather front bringing cloud and some rain to Northern Ireland, Northwest England, Southern Scotland, at least for a time, that rain may ease through the day. Much of Wales, the Midlands, Southern England is dry for most of the day, along with northern and central Scotland. So overall, a brighter day for many on Monday, but notice down to the southwest, that next area of wet and increasingly windy weather is on the way. But before that arrives, we should see temperatures into the 20s across the south, high teens further north, feeling quite cool with the thicker cloud and the rain at times across northwest England. Still quite breezy as well. But the winds will strengthen further during Tuesday night and into Wednesday as this area of low pressure moves in the isobars squeezing together. So unseasonably windy on the southern flank of this low, so along the south coast. During Tuesday night, really, those winds start to pick up, but staying pretty blustery throughout Wednesday with further spells of rain coming in. Where this weather front lies could be a very wet day indeed with an easterly wind uh, coming in from the North Sea across parts of northeast England, eastern Scotland. Some uncertainty about the exact position of that weather front, but where it's sitting, as I say, could be a very wet day. Between the areas of rain, there should be some brighter spells, but also the possibility of some showers. Northern half of Scotland looks like having a largely dry day on Wednesday, just a few showers here, and probably for Northern Ireland as well. But it ain't warm. Look at the temperatures, 17, 18 degrees. Further south, the air is a little warmer, so with a bit of sunshine, we could get into the low 20s, but feeling cooler with this brisk wind, as I said, unseasonably windy yet again along the south coast from this low pressure. It does pull away. Uh, through Wednesday night and into Thursday, but the isobars are then pointing up to the north. So that is where our air is coming from, cool air flow coming down from the north for Thursday. Again, a drier day, certainly for a good part of northern England, Wales and southwest England, but there will be more cloud coming into northern Scotland. Quite a few showers here, and even further south through the day, we will see showers developing as temperatures get again into the high teens, low 20s at best, and it will feel cool if we're exposed to that northerly uh, breeze for sure. The wind's perhaps a little lighter on Thursday for Wales and southwest England compared to Wednesday. As we head into Friday, well, the lows are disappearing and there is this little ridge of high pressure promising to edge in. It's not really changing the wind direction, so it'll continue to bring a, a cool feel with the airflow coming in from the north, but probably not as many showers, certainly for Scotland, Northern Ireland, Wales, Southwest England, good chunk of the day dry, but these eastern counties of England may well see a thicker area of cloud with some outbreaks of rain on and off. And again, with that breeze coming in, if you're exposed to that at all, it's going to feel pretty fresh, I would have thought. Temperatures struggling in the teens on these eastern coasts, whereas a bit of brightness in the southwest could see temperatures getting into the 20s. But still, for most, we are below average for the time of year. What happens into the weekends? Well, as we saw earlier, there are a couple of areas of low pressure just kind of gathering out in the Atlantic. One here and one further afield. They don't look particularly intense, do they? Uh, not too many isobars associated with them, but these two do need watching and exactly how they play out and how they interact with the jet stream will determine the weather we get through the weekend. They're quite interesting because if we rewind the clock again and track these two areas of low pressure, they're actually coming from the tropics. So they've got some 
warm air mixed in with them. So they are going to bring some warm air, but they're also going to bring more energy. And that does add to the uncertainty as we head towards the weekend. Just how these two interact with the jet stream, as I say, will determine what goes on through the course of the weekend. So that's something we'll be keeping a close eye on. The weekend forecast and those two low pressure systems. We'll have more on that during the uh, deep dive and, of course, during the 10 day trend. So if you're uh, watching on YouTube, don't forget to hit subscribe and stay up to date generally day to day by following us right across social media.